Hi guys, how are you? Welcome back. Uh, let's do another video. Patreon.com slash real macro. Patreon.com slash BKC. All right. So, what did I tell you about MMT? Government debt equals private sector savings for the top 5% and liabilities to the 95%. That means that the savings, they're not going to go underneath the mattress. They're going to go into the stock market and you're going to blow out an acid bubble. <clears throat> and that's what MMT is about. It's a neoliberal group. It has nothing to do with this fantasies that, oh, it's for the progressives and the, the little man. and all. No, it's for the little man to be hooked, to believe that deficits are okay, they're a myth, it doesn't matter. Okay, so they can uh, use these deficits to their advantage. You're going to get your little $600 and they're going to get trillions. They're going to pass out trillions like candy. That's what I've been telling you for years. And now you're seeing it. All right. Uh, again, I want you to kind of, you know, let's kind of go over this. So you, maybe you can understand it better this way. I don't know. I posted this on Twitter. And it's very simple. Okay. You had 3.4% unemployment here. Okay. Uh, the deficits were about a trillion dollars. Okay. So deficits all, all in here were increasing. All right. Then you got the big down move. Reality hit. And then they started stimulus here. Print, print, print. Hand out money like it's fucking candy. Trillions of dollars. Here you go, everybody. Okay. And what did that do? Well, it started to rise and rise and rise and gap and gap and gap and gap and gap and gap. And gap. Always in, in after hours. Gap, gap, gap until we got all the way to do all time highs. When we have 13%, which is not 13%, but whatever, let's just play with that number. You have 13% unemployment. So, you're going to tell me that the market is a forward-looking indicator with 13% unemployment? Really? All-time highs? I, 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 I could buy it if it was somewhere down here. All right, I'll buy it. it All-time highs? What? What fantasy are you living in, right? <laughs> so you see that um, they don't. It's not a forward-looking indicator, and and people that say that you got to stop saying that. That's stupid. Okay, a market is a forward-looking indicator when it's not manipulated. Okay, that's when a market is a forward-looking indicator, not when you're pumping in trillions of dollars. All right, so let's continue. So till now, it's actually more than two trillion in deficits, but let's just keep it nice round numbers all right so we have two trillion and since march whatever 26 whatever it was okay so in about two and a half months you pumped in two trillion dollars how is unemployment how is gdp growth how is this high powered money uh helping us it's not right and don't give me this nonsense whoa you know if we didn't print it would be worse no it wouldn't be worse okay so um, it's done absolutely nothing. The Fed's balance sheet has gone from 3.8 trillion to 7.2 in that time frame. That's remember when you're when the Fed is buying a bond in the open market, it's handing what cash, right? It's taking it's the the amount whatever the the bond is at you know the going rate in the open market, they'll pay that amount in cash. So it's not an increase of the deficit, but it is an increase in the money supply. Because then you're reducing the amount of bonds that are available and you're increasing the amount of cash that is available. So that's lopsided. So that pushes down interest rates because the bonds are going to rise in value. So that's an additional 4.4 trillion dollars so already we're up to 6.4 trillion okay 
now the banks don't have to put any money um, and any reserves people love that word oh, it's reserves that's if they're fucking they said something special they don't have to have reserves uh, at the Fed so that's at least it's it's more like 1.8 but again we'll keep it simple that's another 1.5 trillion dollars that banks can go out and invest any way they see fit okay so we went from 2 trillion to 6.4 trillion to 7.9 trillion dollars just like that in two and a half months and what did, what did all that money printing and all that cash flooding the system do nothing it did nothing for the real economy and that's exactly what i've been telling you right oh we're gonna have a job guarantee fuck the job guarantee you gotta you gotta free money cash here take it what did that do nothing it didn't grow the economy it didn't fix unemployment right well it's because it's COVID. it doesn't matter if it's COVID or if it's whatever it is okay the the idea that mmt is selling you is that we have a cash famine and if you just you know the government is a price setter and if the government deficit spends it's high power money it's our savings and we're all going to be fucking rich and all this bullshit. 7.9 trillion dollars one third of the total debt prior to this thing right it was what 21 22 22 trillion something like that 23 whatever we just printed it in two months pumped it into the market and what happened nothing unemployment still 43 million people unemployed big companies are stuffed with cash they took that cash ran out bought stocks it's so ridiculous that now you have bankrupt companies rising fucking <laughs> two three hundred percent like hertz right no name companies out of nowhere just popping up thousand percent in one day crazy madness 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 fed is buying corporate debt backstopping all the risk while well, everybody runs out and buys stocks all-time highs with the, the biggest recession since the Great Depression Fed comes out is telling you don't expect anything to 2022 <laughs> we'll be lucky if we're nine point whatever I don't know what he said nine point seven percent by the end of the year right we'll be lucky I'm telling you, this MMT stuff is garbage. And then you have Colin Roach. Oh, I don't understand what asset price inflation means. <laughs> I, I, I don't understand. You don't, you don't understand that they pumped $7.9 trillion and the market went straight up and there was no benefit to the real economy? You don't get that? Like, are, are you serious or what? I remember Colin runs around saying, no, I'm a monetary expert, I'm a monetary expert. And he can't fucking figure out that the dollars that are created they have to go somewhere and it's not going to the 95 percent it's not going to economic growth otherwise you would see gdp grow right it's got to go somewhere and it's going to the top five percent savers that's what i've been telling you that's what i told you would happen before this happened and and the fact that this has occurred is is wow to me because i can show it to you right in front of your face it's not a theory anymore <laughs> you know what I'm saying it's not like well the economy is improving okay they're spending more they're queuing they're repoing they're doing all these things they're lowering rates they're like you can't it's black and white you cannot have 13 percent unemployment in stocks at all-time highs it's, it's, it's just not the way it works and you can't tell me that it's a um, it's a forward-looking indicator no Remove this $7.9 trillion, let the auto stabilizers kick in, and then tell me where the stocks would be. They'll be down 70% right now. And for the Mike Normans of the world and all these crazy MMTers that run around and the colons and the whatever the fuck, you know, I want them to tell me where interest rates would be if the central bank suddenly just said, you know what, fuck you, I'm unleashing 7.2 trillion dollars worth of bonds into the market. 
Where do you think interest rate? Where do you, first of all, where do you think bond prices would be? Where they are today? Fantasies. Right? They would fall. Where do you think interest rates would be? Where they are today? 0.6, whatever, 7, whatever it is? Fantasies. No way. No way. What would happen to borrowing? Right? You see what I'm saying? It, it all kind of... The stuff that they're saying is just fantasies. They're, 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 they're trying incubator economics. Why do I call it incubator economics? Because it all, all, all works really good on, on a piece of paper. <laughs> I can come up with a 50 million fucking assumptions and I can write down all these things and formulas and equations and whatever the fuck, social, uh, you know, uh, studies of human, whatever, Austrians, whatever the hell you want to do. All of it. Do all of it. I mean, dick. <laughs> You're not going to create more economy. You can't multiply wealth by dividing it. You can't do it. What do I mean by dividing it? Creating more dollars. More dollars is not going to create more economic growth. And that's the, the biggest takeaway that I've been bitching about forever and a day. Oh, you're not an economist. The fuck I'm not an economist. I told you this would happen way before it happened. And then you got academics and all these idiots running around. Oh, I'm an economist. I'm a monetary specialist. I had my own bank. I had this. and blah, blah, blah. They all got it wrong. All of them. None of them told you that deficits are just going to create acid bubbles. Asset price inflation. And everybody's looking around. Well, you know, we have all this money pumped into the market. Where's the inflation? Where is it? What do you mean, where's the inflation? Does the everyday person have all those trillions of dollars? No, of course not. Of course not. Those dollars are to the top 5%. That's where they go. People are sitting here making fun of Buffett. Like, are you kidding me? Oh, <laughs> Buffett missed out on the rally. <laughs> like, are you, what, okay, what value are you buying up here? What value, what intrinsic value are you buying here? Nothing. You're just buying because the other guy is buying. You're just buying because the central bank is buying. You're not buying because it's value. You think earnings per share are going to rise? 13% unemployment? What what fantasy world are you living in? How are earnings per share going to rise? How are corporate profits going to rise? I, oh, it's a tech stock. It's a tech stock. I don't give a shit what it is. Yeah, but Amazon, everybody's buying from Amazon. Who's buying from Amazon? Who, uh, sure, I'm on lockdown. I need something. I'm going to get it from Amazon. Whatever. Yeah. Great. What does that mean? 70% of GDP is consumption. 43 million people unemployed. That's not economic growth. All the stores, brick and mortar, shut down. I went to Ohio last week. Took a nice eight-hour drive to Cleveland. Stopped along the way. They've been open, by the way, since May 15th. People prefer to be in a 20-car line to get Starbucks coffee than to go inside and just pick up the coffee. It's open. You can walk in. I walked in. No mask. I'm like, what are these people, stupid or what? Yeah, that's that's the new um, that's the the new way of uh, doing business now. I went into AAA to get my international license. Skeleton crew. Nobody's traveling. Right. Um, I didn't have a mask. They gave me a mask. Okay, I put it on. Sat down. Did whatever I had to do. Half the lights turned off. Half the more than half. Two thirds of all the desks empty. Right. Went to a mall. Chain stores are open. AT and T, Verizon, whatever. Starbucks. One third of the stores shut down. People walking with masks, without masks. It was just nothing, uh, you know, nothing special. It's not we're, not, we're not back to where we need to be. Right? Um, I don't, 
I don't know what value you're buying. I don't know what fantasies you're told by CNBC and Colin and whatever, whoever else. <laughs> that, that things like, you know, oh, we're going back to normal. Fantasies. What normal? We're not even close to normal. We, we haven't even managed the, the virus. Nobody believes in it. They're like, ah, I'm tired of it. It's going to go away. Trump said so. Like magic. It would just magically go away. Has it gone away? No. <laughs> We're getting spikes now. And, and what are they telling three states? Oh, no, it's not three states. It's 21 states. It used to be 16. And the states that we're talking about, they're big. You look at uh, Texas, California. They're, they're not little states. Okay. Uh, Arizona. You're hearing about um, ICU capacity 80-90%. And we're not even in flu season. No, no. When it gets warm, the... The, the virus would just go away like magic. Yeah? Why are we spiking then? <coughs> the deficit myth. It's a myth. <laughs> it's a deficit myth. Yeah, it is. It's a deficit myth. Sure. Uh-huh. Until it's not. Right? You can print. Okay. Print. Go ahead. Enjoy yourself. Right? You're running top speed in the dark. And there's a cliff somewhere. You don't know where the cliff is. It's somewhere out there. But you're running at top speed. You think that's what we should be doing? Especially when we're not doing anything positive for the real economy? And I'm not talking about the $600 billion for the, the people that, you know, they're going to get some unemployment and some, you know, free money and whatever. That's, I understand that. I'm not, don't, don't get crazy that I'm totally against deficits. No, it's not the case. You know that. Right. I'm talking about the trillions and trillions and trillions and trillions of dollars that are going to companies. You know, why do we have um, bankruptcy law? Why, why did, why did we even invent that? If we're just going to print and give them money, right? Remember, when you go bankrupt, the company doesn't lay off people. Right? They just restructure the debt. Investors are the ones that get fucked. Right. And as Powell said, it's up to the market to assess risk, not to him. And we're doing it for the people. Right? This, this <laughs> these three words are deadly uh, financially for the people. For uh, well, if the market, you know, yeah. But if the Fed is backstopping the risk, what do you mean for the people? You're backstopping the risk for for companies. You're buying their debt. You see, if you didn't buy their debt, they would assess risk much, much differently. Right? It kind of reminds me of, like, the airline industry. Whenever, like, you know, uh, oil is booming, oh, the cost of oil is so high, we can't give you a pay raise. Why is oil high? Because the economy is doing great. Right? They're, pur they're uh, not purchasing. Uh, they can demand higher ticket prices. Because there's more demand, right? What happens when oil falls? Oh, the economy is not doing good. Oh, we can't give you a pay raise. It's like, okay, so when can you? <laughs> when When is there ever going to be a point where you can say, oh, yeah, we can give you money. Yeah, we can give you a pay raise. Never. Never. When they go bankrupt, oh, yeah, you know, my $150,000 turned into a... $59.13 check. <laughs> they didn't have a problem taking my, my retirement. Right? It's the same thing with stock buybacks. Right? Prepare for the for the bad days. No, I'll buy back my stock and reduce the uh, amount of stocks available, increase the earnings per share, give myself another bonus. Give some more dividends. And then when the shed hits the fan, don't worry about it. The Fed's going to take care of it. It's going to backstop the risk. Why? Because it's for the people. For the people. <sighs> so frustrating. And nobody understands this stuff. And, and it's frustrating because even the people that pretend to know, think they know MMT, and you show it to them, you explain it to them, <laughs> you, they see it in front of their eyes, they still don't get it. They're just so caught up in that political ideology that 
fantasy that, oh, if we just print a different way and we spend it a different way, that it would just magically make us all rich. No, no, no. It's not going to make you more rich. And we're going to have free this and free this and free this. Do you realize that if we were to annualize the amount of money that was spent, okay, um, just deficits, okay, because it's going to be from, uh, it's going to be about $3 trillion by the end of June. Remember, we were at $24 trillion two months ago, huh? so it's going to be another trillion coming. So if you annual, annualize just deficits, the high-powered money that we are spending as if we're going to have a $12 trillion deficit, that's that's insane. And where's the economic growth? Non-existent. Where's all our savings? Non-existent. Right? So how can you possibly sit here and still believe that government deficits equal our savings, our black ink. And you run around and you're just so proud of it and you're waving up books, the deficit myth and you know all this bullshit. What, what fantasy are you living in? Are you blind? Are you not educated? Maybe you don't understand mathematics. Maybe you can't read a chart. I, but I don't understand these people. Anyway, I'm going to leave you with this. If you think that this is the bottom, that this was the, the market pricing in uh, the forward uh, prosperity, if, you, if, if that's what you think, you're in fantasy world. When this is said and done, okay, when it's the bottom, every single one of you are going to be puking up stocks, telling everybody on social media and their mom how stocks are rigged, uh, it's bullshit, it's this, it's that, the economy is never going to recover, blah, 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 blah. That's what's going to happen. When this, when this occurs, okay, and it will, you're all going to say that. And then I'm going to say, you know what, now it's time to buy. And you're going to be like, oh, you're a permeable, blah, blah, blah. I'm, I'm, I'll be here. I'll be here. You don't understand economics. You don't understand MMT. It's a description. Blah, 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 blah. You're going to be telling me all that nonsense. Just like I was telling you since uh, September, October, shit doesn't look right. Right? And the market kept going up and up and up. And I was like, no, 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 no. And then, yes, yes. And then, no, no. Right? Remember, I, I've been a bull since 2010. Okay, since 2010. Look at all of that. Okay, since 2010. So, you can't say I'm a perma bull or a perma bear or whatever the hell, you know, you want to call me, but no. I'm not going to come out every single day and tell you the Fed said this and the. Uh, Manutra said this, and the bank reserves said this, and the index per share, and the data point this, and the leading indicator, and my model, and uh, just to keep you occupied, uh, as if what I'm saying makes sense or, or or has any meaning on the big macro. This is macro, okay? Macro, macro stuff. It's not going to change from day to day. Go on my uh, trading view. And see how many charts I have posted recently. None. Zero. Look at the amount of charts that I posted prior to the drop. And you're going to see a lot of them. Okay. Mostly bearish. Mostly telling you that there's going to be a recession. Okay. Um, so, you know. This is macro, guys. And um, for the smart guys out there, and gals, of course. You got to start paying attention to what I've been telling you. You're seeing it right in front of your eyes. Okay. Um, government debt is liabilities to the 95% and savings to the top 5%. And that's why the stock market is going up. And if the, the, the dollars are in savings, then those dollars, they're not going to be inflationary in the productive economy. You're not going to see the prices go up eventually here soon at some point you're going to see commodities start to rise 
you're going to see the dollar start to weaken. It's going to be a point. That's going to happen. Okay? Now, when is it going to happen? How is it going to happen? I don't know. I can't tell you right now. But it's going to happen. And then you're going to start. Oh, hyperinflation. Oh, this. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm telling you, it's going to happen. So be ready for it. Remember who told you this is going to happen. Okay? And then suddenly you're all going to start freaking out about all the deficits and all the all, all the stuff. Even MMTers. I'm telling you, even MMTers. Just like, remember that tea bag crazy nut jobs over there? Hyperinflation. Gold is real money. Right? What happened to those guys? Not a fucking word out of them. Not a peep. Nothing. Right? As long as Trump is doing it, it's not a problem. If it was Obama doing it, oh, hyperinflation, buy gold, buy silver, crash JP Morgan, <laughs> buy Bitcoin. <laughs> it's insane. It's really insane. Remember when we had the libertarians running around saying, oh, let's go back to the state of nature. We don't need no police. We don't need no fire department. Fuck everybody. Personal responsibility. All this crazy stuff. Let's go back to the Stone Age. Remember those guys? Who's saying that now? Oh, defund the police. Like, what? <laughs> well, I don't mean defund. Uh, just kind of defund them. <laughs> it's like, what? That's a libertarian fucking slogan. Now you're saying it? You see, politics is stupid. <laughs> Especially political economic theory. Bullshit. It's nonsense. Everybody borrows everybody's ideological bullshit whenever they see fit and they just run around with you know banners and wave their fist up in the air and <laughs> so I'll just whatever I'll just leave you with this remember at 3.4 percent unemployment we could not get a GDP to go above 2.5 percent couldn't get inflation to go above 2.5 percent and now with 13 quote unquote uh, percent unemployment, 43 million unemployed, trillions of fucking dollars being handed out like candy, like it's nothing, and it's not going to stop. And you can't, you can't grow the economy, you can't fix the unemployment problem, you can't do anything other than push up stock prices and bonds and whatever. It's all it's doing. And you know what they're going to say? Well, hasn't worked th this far, so you know what? We just need to do more of it. So let's pump another $8 trillion. Do it. Go ahead. Knock yourselves out. All you're going to do is just, again, the same thing. And still you're going to be telling me about MMT and how it's our savings and our black ink and blah, 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 and all this nonsense. Why? Because you're driven by politics. You're not driven by real macroeconomics. Okay? That's, you know, you, you need to get that head out of something so you can see what reality is. Okay? Because these are your liabilities. You might get your $600 check and be like, ooh, this is great. I have $600. Yes, wonderful. <laughs> but the debt is on you. Because the rich are going to take their money, God forbid something happens, and they're going to run away. And then you're going to be stuck paying higher taxes. You're going to be stuck going to the supermarket with higher inflation. You're going to be stuck with a dollar that's worth less. And I'm not saying there's going to be hyperinflation and all this nonsense. I'm not an extremist, okay? But sometimes you do have to consider the impossible. Just like nobody considered that a COVID-19 could ever possibly happen... Uh, and it did, okay. It, it, sometimes you gotta start heading in that direction where it's really improbable, and at least consider it, especially when the conditions warrant it. This is not a financial problem. It's not a banking problem that we can just print up trillions and just buy our own bonds and kind of patch it up. Okay, it's not. This is a real economic problem. And you cannot print. Can't do it. And, and just magically make the economy start to grow and the private sector start to function and airplanes start to fly and all these things. You're not going to get rid of the fear. Okay? You're not going to stimulate anything. You're just giving money to the rich. 
let them go out and buy stocks to boost their own portfolios and walk away laughing while you're suffering and thinking a $600 check is going to fix everything. It's not. All right, that's it. Patreon.com slash Real Macro and Patreon.com slash BKC. I'll talk to you guys soon. Take care. Bye-bye.